how I was coined 30,000 Kenya shillings. Welcome back to my channel and my name is Olive Kirote and today guys as you might have read from the title yo 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 first of all disclaimer um it's not really me but it's someone close to me so it's my friend but I had to say me so that I tell you guys the story but anyway let's get to this video so you guys I wanted to move out from the house like seriously 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 I want to move into our two bedroom house I'm tired of the one that I'm living in blah 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 so one of my friends came by and um, started telling me how they found a nice dope house at a very affordable price and I'm looking at them like really where so they opened this website I'm gonna show you guys on the screen it's called okay, I don't know if it's starclassfeeds.co.ke I don't even know so they come with the website they're even showing me yo check out these houses bruh like some nice safari park houses at 24k some nice houses around Naivas considering I wanted to move around um thicker road so nice houses along thicker road park lands even the houses were damn affordable and damn cute and i'm just like hey the lord has heard my cries time to move out so me being all you know trustworthy i'm looking at my friend like wow why, why, why would they lie to me why would they mess me up i listen to the person so they show me the house they even want some nice house on safari park it looks so nice you guys it's 24k and me i'm just there like a house for 24k in safari park okay okay fine he shows me another shows me another shows me another and then i find one that i like that house was like around 13k so me i'm like you guys i'm going for this house i'm even i call the lady i call the lady and then she's like ah oh, yeah the house is available i'm not at the site right now maybe come at 5 pm at safari park me i'm asking her which safari park there's safari park gardens the safari park estate which bloody safari park are you talking about they don't even tell me so i assume it's safari park gardens i take a bike go to safari park gardens and i'm there calling her I'm like, yo, madam, it's 5 p.m. I'm right here. Can I please see the house? Oh, shit. Uh, it's very hot cake. It's the end up very fast. And I'm just like, okay, okay, fine. I don't call my friend. I mean, like, ah, bruh, like, my, the, house, the house is gone. Let me look for another one. But I'm feeling so bad because I really wanted this house. Then I didn't get the house. And even them, they're like, eh, hey, even me, I've not been able to go to the site. I'm gonna go to the site next time and see the house that I want. So the whole night I spent looking for like, the, the house that I want, you guys. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. So I find the house that I want. Hey, I'm just like, boom, chaka, laka, laka, boom, chaka, laka, found the house. And this house was beautiful. It was like 15K. It was a one bedroom house, though I wanted a two bedroom house, but it's cool. I mean, it's cheap. Who gets a house? A long resemble for 15K, huh? And it was really, really nice house. So I decided to call the lady. And then I called the lady, she's like, I mean, I called the guy. Actually, it was a guy's name. I'm like, hello, can I, want to, I want to know about this house. Give me the details about it. I think, oh, uh, sorry. Mm, let me give you to my dad. He's probably there at the site. I'm like, okay. So now I'm being passed on to the dad. Okay, so I call the dad. Hello, uh, Baba, Mzuri, I, I want that house. You guys are advertising. It's very affordable. It looks very nice. Ah, uh, I am not at the site. Let me give you my wife. And I'm just like, okay, this is a family affair. These guys can't be like lying to me. I guess this is really the house. So I call the wife. Hello, Sasa, Madam. She's like, poor son. I'm like, I really, really want that house. Can I get it? I want to come see it right now. She's like, it's in Resambo, opposite Jesus Wina Ministries. I'm like, oh, that's a good spot. It's next to the highway. So I'm like, okay, fine. Nakuja. She's like, okay. So as I'm planning to leave the house and go check the house, I call them again. She's like, hey, you know, this house is hot cake. There are like five of you trying to get the house. If you really want this house, just make a deposit and then i'm gonna i'm gonna put it for you i'm like uh but i just want to see the house she's like hey you guys the amount on convincing this mama was doing 
you would really think it's her house. Watch and come here, madam. I can I cannot steal from you. I am a born again Christian. Sorry, this what? is my house. I have been trying to uh, to get someone to live in it. Mad kuja tu na padlock. I'm even coming with the forms za za kusign. I'm driving. I'm on my way that side. So just come. Tutakwata na apo. I'll give you directions. I'm like, okay, girl. You're convincing. Like, why would you be lying to me? I send my deposit. 15k. Yo, I sent 15k. And then it's funny because as soon as I sent her and I called her, I'm like, yo, have you received the money? She's like, ah, Corona Turku Rivers. I wish right now I was able to like understand what she was trying to say. And then I'm like, Apana Siturku Rivers, see, I'm trying to book a spot in that house. Are you guys seeing my face? So she's like, oh, honey, may pata, honey, may pata. To cut an apple in 15 minutes. Me, since I'm already in Resambo, I'm just like, ah, I'm already here. See, let me head and see this supposedly house that's very nice, 15K, Jesus Wiener, such a prime spot along the Tamak Road. I, I don't know if it was a one or two bedroom house. I didn't ask my friend. According to the story she told me, she goes, she it hit her eventually that there was no house there. And it, it, it ah, you guys, it was so sad because again, the, the, the guy convinces her to even send the other 15k. I'm just like, like bitch, why did you send the other 15k? I just like you guys they were so convincing they're telling me the house is going and i didn't want to lose the house i really trusted them i don't care if they worship the lord i don't care if they're none i don't care if they're the pope you don't trust nobody you don't trust anybody you guys and it had me because she ended up now sending the full amount for the house which is 15k again so 13k went was sent to her to that mama and then I remember she told me she literally called them. She's like, I'm here. I'm not seeing the house you're talking about because there's no bloody house next to Jesus Wina. If you've been to Jesus Wina, you guys, there's no house there. It's literally apartments. There's really no, no house at Vita Corridor. That's a lie. They use such nice, nice catchy pictures. That, yo, that house would make you pay that money because you're like, yo, it's too cheap. It's too cheap for that price. So anyway, she ended up even selling the whole 30K. She ended up being conned that money because now the house was non-existent. Um, she reached there, it was even getting late. They're even telling her, they even they, they, they keep like telling her we are coming, we are coming. And then eventually the lady picks up the phone and is like, haha, madam, I'm a con woman. <laughs> it was after. And yeah, she ended up losing all that money, um, trying to move out to a two-bedroom house and because she was in a one-bedroom house, so she was trying to move to a two-bedroom house, and yeah that happened and i'm gonna show you guys the website because i went to visit that website and i was just like please you guys they even sell cars they even sell cars and if you look let me tell you if you go to that website and look at all the cars among all the houses they've registered them with one number and i'm sure when you call that number it will direct you to a woman and then to g to the sun and then to g so me and my detectiveness because yo me uh, uh me this country i've already been stolen for a phone, already been stolen for a car, and already been stolen for a laptop. Please, me, when you tell me you've been robbed in Kenya, I'm just like, I have to go to my research. Like, why does this exist? So, I went to a group on Facebook called Buyer Beware. Please, guys, go to that Facebook page. And I saw the amount of cons that are in Kenya. You guys, you can be conned to buy land, you'll be conned to buy a car, you'll be conned everything. Literally, someone will con your liver and a kidney at this rate and i could see so many people giving out their stories some other chick gave her exact story there and i was just like i wish i knew about this website because maybe i'd have warned my friends or people around me that these things actually exist anyway you guys like i said please go check facebook by beware go and read out all the cons that kenyan con men are coming with they are so professional you guys they've practiced Shit, yo! Yeah. It was like these guys literally sit down and practice their lives. They practice how to convince you. For them, it's a sale they've made. Yo, it's crazy. It's still crazy to me. But yeah, guys, that was the video. I want to tell you how my friend was conned thirty thousand Kenya shillings in this Kenya. 
trying to get a house also please guys if you really want to get a house in nairobi per se please do not pay for a house without seeing it please like let me give you like tips do not pay for a house without seeing it first of all do not send money through mpesa if it's a house and you're paying for it go to the bank deposit the money in the bank account please this mpesa transaction you know safaricom is not able to trace back the money if they've already with the drone so why don't trust mpesa transactions i beg you i beg you all my heart and also third but the the last point i want to advise if you're looking for a house in nairobi especially if you're not even kenyan or you're new to nairobi or from shags or something even if you go to that house and you're told that you call this number sometimes i've had the situations whereby an apartment has many sides then one like a house to let east side east side east side east side different numbers you don't even know and some of them are actually not the owner of the house just some guy goes and pins it and people won't notice you call it they call you so at the same time even go to that house ask for the caretaker make sure you want to know the owner even ask the owners of those like people who live in this house who is your caretaker is this really guy is this guy really a caretaker because you never know the guy might be posing as a caretaker and he bloody is not a caretaker like yo like precautions 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 in kenya please not even in kenya alone but everywhere in the world but in kenya because me in kenya i have just been robbed too much but yeah precautions don't trust nobody don't and yeah guys that's it for my video i don't want it to be too long i love you guys please like share comment and subscribe and please share this video to all your friends hey guys i love you so much and yeah bye please take care of yourself please don't be conned please don't trust people okay bye <laughs> oh wait